Hey everybody, Liz LePage here. For this video, I want to talk to you guys about global presets. And this is a really big deal here in On One Photo Raw because it allows you to create presets that don't just include the develop module for raw processing. So these are basic adjustments like tone and contrast and color, but it also allows you to include things like effects adjustments as well. And this all is included in your raw file. So we can reset everything back to factory defaults and nothing is set in stone. So let me show you how to actually create the preset and then I'll show you how to apply it in a really fast and easy way. We're gonna start out with this image here and on the right, we're gonna jump over to our develop module. I'm not gonna do too many adjustments to this image. I'm just going to maybe increase exposure, contrast. We're gonna darken those blacks and maybe lighten those whites a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add some vibrance. Maybe warm the photo up just a little bit. If I go up to the top of my screen and I click show more, you'll see I have a ton of other changes that I can make to this image, but I wanna jump into effects here and show you some of the other changes you can make. So we'll go ahead and click on effects. And right up at the top, we'll add a filter. And let's start out with one of my favorites, Sunshine. So we'll go ahead and apply that. Maybe add a bit more warmth here. Let's add another filter and add a photo filter. This is something that's unique to effects. So we'll select the 85 warming filter. And this one is really awesome. It's great for adding a soft orange hue to your whole photo. And I'm going to change the mode from clean shadows to subtle. So it looks a little less intense here. Now, all of these adjustments that we just made in develop and effects can be saved into a preset by going up to your settings drop down menu and choosing save settings as preset. So let's go ahead and give this a name. I'm going to name it after the dog. So we'll call it Nelson Dog Preset. And then down at the bottom, you'll see it says save what, and it gives you the option to choose what you want to save in this preset. So we want our develop and our effects settings. But I also want to point out here that you'll see you can use gradient masks as well. So if you add a mask to a layer using that masking bug, you can save that with your image, which is crazy awesome. So you have other options here, but I wanted to show you how quick and easy this is. So go ahead and press OK. On the left, it pops up in the category that I had selected, Liz's proof presets here, and there it is right up at the top. And on the right, I want to make sure that I sync my settings so everything is saved with this image. And down in the film strip, I want to choose another photo that I apply this preset to. So let's just select the next image. It'll open up for me and there's no adjustments made to it right now. And I'm gonna go up to the top left and just click Nelson Dog Preset and bam, all of the adjustments I used are on this image. Inside of Effects, and then if I jump over to Develop, all of those tone and color adjustments are here as well. So this is a huge tool that you have access to. You have the ability to apply it to a large amount of images all at once. And what's even better is you have so much versatility to the types of presets that you're gonna be able to create. 